Hey guys, welcome back to Snow Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 44. Hey guys, I'm really not prepared for this episode. <laughs> so, let me see if I can get some extra light in here. Kinda. <laughs> uh, yeah. And by not being prepared, I usually mean, I mean, I by that I mean that I usually have like a list of all my, uh, whips and stuff and I didn't do that today. I do have my computer pulled up right here um, with the patterns pulled up so that I can tell you what they are. I just didn't sit down and actually make out the list. But yeah, um, I don't have any finished objects this week. I mean, I technically have a kind of one, but I didn't like the pattern the way it turned out, so I'm actually not going to finish it all the way. And um, I've just been... My crochet has been kind of weird lately. Um, I still love crocheting, obviously. It's just I haven't been wanting to crochet things. How can I word it? I've been kind of selfishly crocheting, if that makes any sense. I've been just making things that I want to make and not really things um, with the intention of selling them or anything like that. Like um, like the corner of the corner blanket, I just wanted to make that and I'm working on it. And the only thing I am making for someone else right now, well, there's, I guess there's two things, <laughs> is one is the... Um, the Harry Potter thing that I'll be showing in a little bit as a whip is for a baby shower that my mom's going to. And the other thing is the Christmas lights that I was making for um, like a craft fair this November, I think it is, for December stuff. <laughs> Christmas themed things. Um, I actually, I haven't made up my mind a thousand percent whether I'm actually going to do that uh, craft fair. I keep wanting to say bizarre, but I don't, I don't even know what a bizarre, the definition of a bizarre is. I don't know if it's like a specific type of fair, but, um, because I just haven't been, I just haven't been feeling it. Like, I had this idea to make all these little Santas and snowmans and the Christmas lights and all kinds of Christmassy things to take to and try to sell to make some extra money for us for Christmas time. But, um, I just haven't been into it. And I'm not going to force myself to do something that I don't enjoy. Like, um, I enjoy crocheting cute things for my house and for people I know. Uh, I love making amigurumis, and I do work, like working on blankets every now and then when they're simple blankets that I can sit down with the pattern in my brain and like watch TV and work on a blanket. That's the kind of blankets I like. That's why I used to make granny stitch blankets a lot, and this simple corner to corner, uh, is, I'm working on it a lot. You'll see that here in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, but it's just like, lately, I don't know how to explain it. I'm, I'm sure some of you guys understand what I'm, where I'm coming from. But it's just like, I want to enjoy what I'm crocheting and uh, not stress myself out and have to make something specific. Let me move that a little bit. I feel like I'm just a floating head. <laughs> you might fall, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of step back from the idea of doing a craft fair, at least this Christmas one. Maybe, you know, I might feel different in a week or two, but right now I'm just going to crochet what I want to crochet and sew what I want to sew and all that kind of stuff. And, um, just, you know, focus on making myself, or not making myself happy. I'm not unhappy. It's just, like, continuing to make, do things that make me happy Or <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, if, if it doesn't make sense, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna make things that I want to make and not worry about all the other stuff. My hair is really messy. Uh, we went rock hunting today, me and Kat, and so my hair is all outdoorsy. <laughs> we only found one, but there is a person locally that posted on our local rock hunting Facebook page that they're planning on hiding like 130 rocks this weekend so that'll be fun. Anyways back to the crochet. Like I said I don't have any finished objects except this little thing that I've been twisting his neck <laughs> while talking to you and this was going to be a top um this is like a prototype for um something I was going to make for the Christmas craft fair. I was going to make a bunch of these to you know try to sell and it's supposed to be a snowman, but when I finished his little body, and I tried stuffing him different ways, and he just wouldn't come out the shape that I wanted him to be. Um, he looks more like a ghost, I think, than he does a snowman, but this is him. He's just a little... He, his pattern has um, pipe cleaner arms, a little scarf, and a little hat, and then a nose, of course. But I just decided not to even finish him because... Um, I just don't like his shaping and he looks like a little ghost to me <laughs> instead of a little snowman. So I'll probably rip this out and just put this in my scrap, uh, you know, reuse the fiber fill and put this, the yarn in my scrap bucket. <laughs> I don't even remember what pattern that was. I looked up a few and I actually tried two different ones and I just didn't like their shaping. 
So um, if I do decide to make stuff for a craft fair, I'm going to try to find a different pattern or just simply, simply make two crochet balls, a smaller one and a larger one, and put it on top. I kind of thought something was going to fall. It feels like it's creaky up there. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but um, yeah, because he looks like a little ghost. Maybe he could just be a little ghost and I could set him out on Halloween or something. <laughs> but yeah, that's the only finished object I have this week. And he just fell. Um, let's see here. Did I make any bags between last week and this week? I think I did. On my Etsy page, um, I'm selling project bags. My drawstring bags. And I think, yeah, I think it was after last week's video. I made four. I made a Sim Sim one, a Flowerdy one, an Owl one and a cowboy one and the owl one sold um yeah so those are finished objects too technically i guess but i'm gonna hop into whips i did have a whip last week of the the what is it called cats are liquid by a name i can't pronounce but it'll be linked below um i didn't work on that at all i want to i want to finish it because i'm i'm gonna be entering it into heather at uh painted world fiber arts she's hosting a amigurumi a long cow thingy on her um, rivalry group and so I'm planning on entering that into that and actually I guess I could enter the Dobby too because I just started it today and um, it's Emma Grimmy but yeah I didn't I didn't work on it and it's not I just have it picked it up <laughs> most of most of this week has been pretty hectic with you know Jesse stuff and all that and so I've been working on the corner to corner blanket a lot and not really other things and then the other thing, this actually does have, my next whip does have some. It's living in one of my drawstring bags. And this is just a sack. It doesn't have the boxed bottom. Um, this is the Christmas Lights. And it's by Jean Herman. Yeah, Jean Herman. Last week I had two completed. I'm still working on the blue ones. I worked on these a lot this week because it's something that I can just sit down with Jesse even in my lap. And I can make these because... They, they're really quick and kids outside really quick and easy I don't even know how many I make I was just making a bunch and sticking them in the bag I am working on one right now and then I got one two three four five six seven eight eight finished ones and one almost finished I need 20 of each color so I'm getting there uh, if something happens and I finish these light bulbs but I don't do the Christmas bizarre I will have a bunch of these and I'll probably gift some of them away and just keep the rest maybe like just more decoration around my house <laughs> but yeah because I love these Christmas lights they're super cute hanging out last year I had a big one hanging up right there in that area and it was really cute I enjoyed it but yeah that is let me check up there my basket my whip basket but yeah that is Christmas lights by Jean Herman that was Red Heart Super Saver Blue. And I think it's a F hook that I'm using on that one. Alright, my other whip. This one I just started today, actually like an hour ago. I was watching a documentary and uh, was working on this. Get all the pieces out. This is an amigurumi. This is a gift that I'm making for the baby shower that my mom is going to in a few weeks that is Harry Potter themed. I made this thing. I showed this the other day. This is a snitch, a golden snitch lovey. I made this for it. And then I'm also going to make this for it. I'll pop up a picture right here. This is what it's going to look like when it's done except it's um, clothing <laughs> isn't going to be blue. It's going to be another shade of buff kind of um, because that's what it is in the movie. But I did finish his little head. Which, if you make this pattern, I wouldn't suggest making it in public because before you finish the head, it looks kind of inappropriate. <laughs> if you're a kind of person who gets embarrassed easily, it looks like a oob when you're working on it. But yeah, I finished this little head. It starts right here and, you know, increases and decreases. I like that because you don't have to sew the nose on. I hate sewing on little bits. But yeah, this is his nose and then I put in his safety eyes. I'm not exactly sure what size they are. Because mine aren't labeled. I get them from Amazon and they're just random. But um, I like them. They work good for me. So his little head is done. But yeah, he looks like a boob. <laughs> and then I finished his body just before I started filming. Uh, his head will go up here and then his arms and legs. And uh, his little outfit just like slides on, I think. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far. <laughs> but I was just about to start on his arms and legs. 
which I think are really similar. They're just the arms are smaller than the legs. This his uh, skin color is Red Heart Super Saver Buff, and his I don't it's on the couch, but his outfit is gonna be um, Mainstays Aaron. I think is what it was called. And I'm using my crochet hook my sister got me. Where's the camera at? <laughs> Looks like a moon stars. And I am using when I'm actually crocheting a little stitch marker. Hannah sent me at the Cozy Cottage crochet. To get back in here. He's living in my other bag that I made. This one is a box to bottom. Skeleton one. It's got the box to bottom. You can't see it good right now because he's rounded off. When it's flat, it looks better. But yeah, I love these drawstring bags. So I'm actually going to leave him down here because I will be working on him again. Um, once I get done filming. Because <laughs> I'm wanting to try to finish him up. Because I think that baby shower is on the 23rd. Probably the 23rd or 24th. Because it's probably Saturday or Sunday. My last whip is my corner to corner blanket. This is just corner to corner stitch. So it's not a pattern link or nothing. And I'm making it with Line Brand Mandala. In the color right, um, Unicorn. <laughs> I'm almost done with the first two balls. I've got that much left each other. Probably like another roll, uh, roll or two of it. And I worked on this a lot because like I said, I can work on this while watching TV and while Jesse's playing and stuff and I can easily pick it up and set it down. I don't have to like try to remember where I was at. It's just the corner to corner stitch. But I have a progress keeper. Yeah, hold on. Right here's the progress keeper. This is where I was last week when uh, I showed it to you. It's getting pretty big. And it's so pretty, I think. I'm up here right now. I think I can do another two rows, maybe. Maybe even three. Uh, with this, these two cakes. And then I will start decreasing with two other cakes. But yeah, this is just going to be an extra blanket that I have around. In case I need a baby shower gift or something like that. It's going to be pretty big. Because it's already... You know, this is the width of it so far. <laughs> and then another couple of rows will add like a two inches more. So it's going to be a fairly good size baby blanket. I was worried it wouldn't be big enough, but um, it's turned out pretty good. Right now, let's see here. Where's my hook? This is another hook that my sister got me. It's a little frog. So cute. Those are some of the um, $5 mystery hooks from Clay Bean, the Clay Bean Company. Well, it's CO, the Clay Bean Co. <laughs> Um, they're really active on Instagram and then they have their own website too. She sells through a website, not like Etsy, just her own personal website. And that's living in my cat bag. <laughs> this is the only bag I ever made with a zipper and interfaced. Um, my first interface. I made two interface bags. But, uh, it's kind of falling apart because I didn't sell the zipper on right. But it still works for now. Ooh. It fell back down. <laughs> I need a new system for storing whips. Okay, there you go. That's all my crochet whips, right? Yes, let me take a drink of water. Okay, close my laptop because I don't need it anymore. All right, <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to acquisitions because I got quite a few of them. And there's gonna be some bag ruffle, ruffle, rustles, rustles here in a minute, but I'll show you the material first. If you're a member of the Facebook group, you've already seen these um, materials. <laughs> over uh, I got these all at Walmart um, our local Walmart doesn't sell material anymore they sell fat quarters but um, not bolts but our Walmart in the next city over has still has a fabric section so I go there a lot to look for clearance um, like you know when they get to the end of a bolt and there's only so much left so they they mark it down I look for that and then returns because sometimes people buy a yard or so and then return it those are usually the bins that I always dig through because it's usually half off or even more than half off. So, I always buy there. But I got some material. I'm not going to unfold these because it would be hard because most of them are a yard. This one is a yard. I don't know if you can see the color very good, but it's white with orange and... It's like two shades of orange. Oh, there you go. It looks a little bit better right there. But I got a, a yard of this so I can make two large project bags with this. That will be going in my Etsy shop eventually. <laughs> And then this is a yard of just yellow. Kinda. That'll be good for liners. This is another yard of yellow. I don't know what the shape is called, but it's a little 
Oop, that's how it's dirty. I gotta wash it. <laughs> um, shape. <laughs> but these, these are bright. Yeah, that's brighter yellow. This will probably be a liner um, fabric. This will also probably be a liner. This is pink. This is also about a yard of it. This is a light pink color with another shape on it. I don't know what that shape is. I haven't washed these yet. I still gotta wash them. I was waiting. This is half a yard of a Pooh Bear print. It's got Pooh Bear and Piglet on it and it says, what does it say? It says, be cuddly. <laughs> this is probably like a baby material. Uh, you know, meant for like a baby whatever product. But I'll make a bag out of that. This is another, I thought would be another good liner. It's just pink and white stripes. This is, I think, a half a yard-ish. They're not exact because they're like the end of the thing. All right, and then I bought these two. These are each a yard. I bought these to make project bags with. Because I thought people, you know, uh, it's from what I've seen on Etsy, people really like pop culture themed notions. <laughs> so I was going to start buying pop culture themed material and beads and things like that to make stitch markers and bags out of. But this is a Harry Potter one. Let me unfold that a little bit bigger. Upside right, yeah. This is a yard, so I can make. I'll be making two project bags out of this. Ooh. And then this is another yard of Star Wars. How did I have this folded? This is folded weird. This is old Star Wars. This isn't the new stuff. This is the good Star Wars, in my opinion, <laughs> or the better Star Wars. They're all good. But yeah, so that'll be two project bags also coming up soon. I'll probably start working on, I'll probably make these four bags in the next week or so. So I'll go ahead and get them in my Etsy so I can hopefully go ahead and sell them. <laughs> and um, uh, also I got in my Etsy shop right now, I think I have five, four or five project bags. And I'm going to try to make up four or five more in the next week or so. And once I have them all listed, I'm going to have a sale on my Etsy for some percent off I haven't decided yet but just so just kind of like an introduction so so that people who haven't bought from me yet or haven't even heard of me yet can um you know see and buy and try out my bags I'm also hoping to make more stitch markers I actually went today to Hobby Lobby to try to find some more beads but they weren't on sale any longer and I'm trying to stick to buying everything for my business <laughs> Uh, on sale just you know to help costs. But yeah, that's all my material that needs to be washed. I went to Hobby Lobby today to um, Look to see if their beads were still on sale because last week their strung beads were uh, half off I wish I had a Joann's close to me because their strung beads were like 70% off this week And I tried to order like multiple times through the internet um, But every time I clicked on it all they were all sold out So I'd have to go to the store and our closest Joann's is like an hour away and I didn't want to drive an hour away to save some money on beads, you know, kind of, kind of, you know, as what I saved on beads, I would spend on gas. Crinkles. All right, I did. Let me dump this out so it's not so loud. Sorry. Oh, gosh. I did buy yarn at Hobby Lobby. I had seen it floating around on all the crochet sites that I'm on on Facebook that they were having a clearance sale on yarn bee cakes all i'd seen was that the cakes the new cakes the brand ones new ones that just came out were being marked down for some reason to make room for new stuff i guess I'm trying to separate these out and i went there hoping to get some of those because i've been wanting to get some because there's a couple um colorways that i really like and i want to make throw blankets for our own house <laughs> out of and uh, none of their cakes were on sale, which was disappointing. But then I started noticing orange stickers on a bunch of random yarn just in the aisle. It wasn't in the clearance section where it normally is. Because in our Hobby Lobby, there's two clearance sections. There's one in the back wall that's everything in the whole store on, that is on markdown. And then there's one in the back corner where the fabric bolts are that is fabric clearance and yarn. They put clearance yarn over there. So, um... I went there first and there was the only yarn in that area was a bunch of crafter secret in like an off-white color on clearance which if i had had extra money to just blow on all the yarn in the world i'd have bought all of them because they were 75 cents a skein 
oops, I just kicked a rock. <laughs> but, um, anyways, they didn't have the yarn bee that I wanted on sale, but they did have a ton of other yarn bee on sale, plus a bunch of, um, I love this yarn. Actually, now that I look at it, um, all the yarn I got was yarn bee, but, um, two. Actually, three, because I bought Kat, the girl I babysit, one, but she took it home with her today because she does crochet a little bit. But she wanted to make a little tiny. She's like, is that enough to make a blanket this big? And I was like, sure, uh, for a little baby that she knows I got born. But, um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and start with just these ones, I guess, because, yeah. So, I, like I said, I bought a lot, and I calculated it up when I got home. If I had paid full price for this yarn, it would have come to $128 and some change, and then tax plus taxes so like a hundred and thirty something dollars but I paid for all of this thirty three dollars and some change I'll see here five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two count the one that she took home so we'll start with just some there was a bunch of other ones I wanted but they only had like one of each skein and I wanted to buy them in multiples of at least two so that I can make something except these two I'm about to show you I only bought one because I'm planning on making hats out of them and I know this is enough yarn to make a hat out of but it's I Love This Yarn print, and it's called Sunrise Sky. I wish my lighting was better. I'm actually planning on getting a, a professional <laughs> lighting thingy soon. But it's just this really pretty colorway that I'm going to make a hat out of. And this is another one. This is I Love This Yarn. By the way, that was 99 cents. I should show you that. $3.99 down to 99 um, This is another print, I Love This Yarn, and it's called... Elements Flower. It's a purple and gray and whitey white and it's like a gray green color in there. And it was also 99 cents. All their clearance I noticed in the clearance section. Their normal clearance stickers are yellow, or at least at my Hobby Lobby. And then once they go down for a second clearance, their second wave of clearance, they're orange, like these ones. Um, so it's like a a sale on clearance items. All of their clearance stuff was marked down again. So they're trying to get all this stuff out. Uh, I'm imagining that there's going to be a lot of new yarns coming in. Because usually when they clearance out a bunch of different yarns at once. It's because a new line is about to come in. And they're making room for it. So that's that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. But anyways, back to the yarn. The next one I got. I got this to try. Because I've, I've always wanted to try some um, fur yarn. To hold with a similar color to make amigurumi with. And uh, they had a bunch of weird colors on sale, blues and pinks and stuff, but they also had a brown color on sale. So I went ahead and grabbed two of them. I thought I could try to make like a bear or a dog or something with it. And it's Yarn Bee Hot Fur. I don't know if it's, it's like hot couture or whatever. I can't, I'm Southern, I can't say these words. And it is 100% polyester. And it was originally $6.99 a ball, but it was marked down to $1.74. I got two of those. Like I said, it's 100% polyester, and it's 76 yards. So I thought that would be enough to make some amigurumis with, to attempt to. The next ones, yeah, we'll do these ones next. I got two of these ones. It's Yarn Bee Alpine Authentic. It is 75% acrylic, 25% polyamide. I don't know what that is. What is polyamide? It's really soft. And it was $5.49 marked down to $1.37 really pretty colorway. I didn't even say the colorway, did I? It's turk slash gray. I imagine turquoise slash gray. <laughs> it's also got yellow in there, but I got two of those uh, to make probably a hat because I love slouchy hats, so I like having a bunch of different ones to wear with different outfits. <laughs> That's about the only girly thing I do is have matching hats, if that counts. But yeah, that's super soft. It's a bulky yarn, too, I think. It's like a five. Yeah, it's a five. Alright, and then I got five of these. I got all that they had of these because I thought I could make a little blanket. I'm not even sure if it's enough to make a blanket with. I've not made enough baby blankets to be able to judge. But this is also a yarn bee. The rest of them is yarn bee. Lots of dots, and it is colorway birthday sprinkles. And it, each ball is 114 yards. So that's, that's over 500 yards. I'm sure I can make something out of that. And it's a bulky yarn, but it's really pretty baby colors. It's white with green, pink, and blue spots <laughs> i guess that's why i called lots of dots but i got five of those because i thought i could make something out of it i'll find something to make out of it and then i got four of these ones i have no idea what i'm making out of these i just liked them and they were super cheap so i bought them 
It's Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek Low Peel Fiber. It's 100% low peel acrylic. They are 208 yards each, and this one's colorway is called Pink Slash Blue Multi. That's, that's good. It was $3.99, marked down to $0.99, cents, and it is a pink and blue shade. <laughs> it's like kind of washed out. It's like It looks like it was pink and blue, and then it got washed, and a lot of the dye came out is what it looks like. I got four of those to make something with. I have no idea. And then I got four of these ones. These are also Yarn B Aurora Boralis, which I made a hat out of this. And I really enjoyed working with this yarn. And they had the colorway that I made a hat out of, which I really loved, on uh, clearance. But they only had one ball of it, so I just left it because I didn't, like off the top of my head, I couldn't think of something. These would be cute and my Grammys, though. It's 100% acrylic, 169 uh, yards per skein. And the color is Dusk Dance. <laughs> it's greens and pinks and blues. It's a little bit of oranges. I guess it's from just the dyes mixing. Very pretty yarn. I got four of them. I have no idea what I'm going to make out of it. But they'd be cute anything. And then these last two. <laughs> I love these ones. These are crazy funky looking. But I'm going to make a hat and wear it like crazy this winter. I can't quit squishing it. Had there been enough to make a throw blanket for my couch. I would have bought it all and made a throw blanket. It is Yarn Bee Soft Illusion Super Bulky Rainbow. <laughs> It was originally $6.49. It marked down to $1.62. The colorway is rainbow. And it is amazing and soft. It's like this white bulky yarn with a fur rainbow yarn wrapped around it. And it's so soft. Did I say? It's 65% acrylic, 35% polyamide. What is polyamide? I'm going to have to look that up. Some kind of something. But it's super soft and squishy. This is going to be a hat. I got an idea to make a hat from it because on the picture it's got a little girl wearing a hat. And I was like, I'm making me a hat out of that. But it's so soft. I wish there had been enough to make a blanket with because I could just imagine this winter being laid under it. Me and Jessie, because me and Jessie both love snuggly things. Devin's not that big on being warm and snuggled up, but me and Jessie love it. So soft. It's squishy. Oh, I can't wait to make some of that. But yeah, all the yarn that I bought was crazy colors, <laughs> which is okay because... I got plenty of solid color yarns to make stuff with. So this is more like enjoyment yarn <laughs> for me to just make whatever I want to make with it. Um, Devin was totally an enabler. He told me to get whatever I wanted. I actually didn't get a buggy because I, I went there to look at fabric and beads. He went and got me a buggy while we were back there. And I just, he every time I said, oh, I like that, he's like, well, get it. And then I got like two and he's like, well, get all of them. So um, I did get a lot of yarn. Like I said, I got 20 I technically got 21 skeins. That one was for Kat. And had I had a ton of extra money, I would have probably bought way more. But the Vanish Choice was marked down. Almost all the Yarn Bee was marked down. Uh, a lot of the Red Heart. Not Red Heart. Uh, all of this yarn prints were marked down. And the variegated ones. Uh, Crafters Secret, a few of them were marked down. I'm trying to think. None of the cakes were, but a lot of people's been getting the new Yarn Bee cakes, the big, look like Karen cakes almost, for like a dollar or something. That's what I had went hoping to get, because I, I want to make a blanket. There's like two colorways, I can't remember what they are, but there's two summery looking colorways that I wanted to make an afghan for the couch out of. But um, I'm going to look back maybe in a week or so and see if they're clearancing out any more. Or getting new ones because it's going to be exciting to have a bunch of new yarn uh, popping up. But yeah, I'm just sitting here looking at it all. And it's just, I just love yarn. I just love new yarn. I love to squish it. And this kind of hair is just so nice. And they had other colorways of this, but this is the one I like the most. Because <laughs> even though I'm a plain person the way I dress, I like having crazy looking accessories. The, the scarf that I use every year for the last two, well, both the two last years. Maybe three. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I made it when I was pregnant. So I think it was the last three winners. Um, is is Red Heart Super Saver? Is it Rainbow Stripes or Bright Stripes? It's the black, um, black and rainbow stripes from them. I can't remember what it's called, but I, I have a hat and a scarf and mittens. Yeah, I made my mittens. I finished them last year. I never got a chance to wear them because it never got that cold here, but um. I just like having bright and pretty accessories because I normally wear black jackets. So I like have something that pops off of that, you know. So yeah, I'm going to be making a lot of hats, I think. And I 
pretty sure these will probably be amigurumis. I think this would be cute fantasy like creatures like a dragon or a lizard or something or it'd be pretty hair for a mermaid doll. I don't know. Devin liked this one. He wouldn't wear it as a hat because he I made him a slouch five years ago and he's been wearing that same one every winter which is good but he liked the colors of this so I'll probably make me a hat out of this or a scarf or something I don't know it's, it's nice and fuzzy but yeah I can't wait to make stuff with this stuff but yeah that's all my acquisitions I think right do a quick one over the room <laughs> water break yeah I always feel like my videos are gonna be short but then like I look up and it's, it's already been 30 minutes that I've been filming so um ah, fly I hate flies they get in when the door's open <laughs> when Jesse's outside playing I leave the door open and I sit in my rocking chair facing the window crocheting while he's out there playing because our porch is fenced off so he can only stay on the porch but I still watch him just in case you never know when some crazy person might come up and try to steal your kid or something but um anyways it's totally random <laughs> I forgot where I was going but yeah I I don't have much else to talk about everybody already knows what's going on um the cow's still going on at the group uh, the Facebook group and Mo's slash unseen strands um Ravelry group. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Etsy group. That's not even a thing. And like I said earlier, uh, I do have, I don't even remember, one, two, three, four, five bags, I think, listed on Etsy and some stitch markers if you're interested. Hop over there. If not, that's okay. Um, and in a week or so, I'll probably have a sale going on there, but I will mention it in case anyone's interested. I want to make probably four or five more bags. For sure, get the Harry Potter and the Star Wars one done. I keep my I'm keeping my eyes peeled for certain things that I know is popular right now. Joanne's also had a really good sale going on right now. I don't know when it ends on cotton prints. They were like 70% off, so up to 70% off. All the ones I looked at were more like half off, <laughs> or some they were more like 40% off through 60%. Um, but again, like every one that I wanted was sold out. And there's a really cute one of a kitten and a yarn ball print. Like it's a bunch of kittens and a bunch of yarn balls. I thought that'd be a cute project pack, but it was sold out at the time that I looked at it. I don't know if it is now. And then there was one with cactus on it. Uh, those are real popular right now. But yeah. So I guess that's everything. I am planning on filming another video right after this. Probably a crocheting chat or a frog in chat. Um, just so I have another video to put out. Because I didn't get around to doing it this last week. I, only, I didn't have any videos this last week other than my... Uh, no catch name episode. I like trying to put out at least two videos a week, but lately life's just been really hectic, I think. Or I've just been lazy. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, I've been having a hard time finding time to crochet and time to film. So that, that's why, that's another reason I tried to move it to um, Saturdays that my video comes out because of babysitting. And also, like right now, Jessie's at my mom's. She's watching them tonight. And then in the morning, we're going to go pick them up and go yard selling early. Me, uh, my mom. Jesse and Devin because he's off this weekend which is good we're gonna go yard sale and there's a church having a big yard sale that we're planning on going to and then we'll probably stop at some little ones hopefully we'll find some goodies um and then we'll just come home and hang out all weekend I don't really want to do anything this weekend that there's kids yelling I don't know if you heard that um our local zoo Chattanooga Zoo it's not really local to us it's an hour away but uh, they were having an event there they are having an event tomorrow that we were gonna go to but uh, I just don't really feel like getting out and about this week I'd just rather stay home and just chill at home with Jesse and Devin but they're having a um, what's it called ice cream safari and it's all you can eat ice cream the whole time it's like four hour event I think and you go to the zoo, you know, you walk around the zoo eating ice cream and looking at animals. And uh, I wanted to do, to do that. I thought that would be fun. But I just, I think I'd rather just stay home. I mean, we might go swimming at uh, Devin's dad's. They cleaned out their pool real good and all that. So it's ready to go swimming in. He'll probably have a cookout at some point because <laughs> he normally does. And um, we might go Sunday to... Uh, the splash pad because it was so fun watching Jesse play on the splash pad. I wish I'd got a video, but there were so many other kids there. I was I wasn't really wanting to take a lot of pictures and stuff because, you know, everybody else's kids would have been in it. Um, there were so many kids there, but yeah, it'll be fun to 
to do that and uh, see him play again. Maybe get in it with him. Last time there were some grown-ups in it with their kids. But um, I always have a problem with doing stuff like that because, you know, we park a really far distance. So I don't want to leave all of our stuff in the car. But we can't just leave it sitting there either because people might steal it. But anyways, I'm just paranoid. I always think of the worst thing that could happen before I think of things that probably won't happen. But yeah, I think that's everything. I chatted enough. I'm going to be chatting again in a few minutes. Man, I think I'm getting carpal tunnel. I know it's usually down here, but I've been getting the weirdest pains right there here. I don't know if you can get it up there. But, and I know it's from crocheting because of the motion. And while I'm crocheting, every now and then I hit and I'll just have to stop and like shake my arm out. My mom had carpal tunnel on both her wrists and got surgery for it, but. And I'm sure it's inevitable for me to get it because I crochet. I'm using my wrists a lot, but I'll deal with that down the road. <laughs> I'm going to hop off here, put all this yarn up, and um, probably immediately start filming a crochet chat. <laughs> it won't come out right after this. It'll probably come out later this week, but you can look forward to it. <laughs> um, also, the Facebook group is linked below if you would like to join. We've got over 300 members now, which is cool. There's um, quite a bit of activity over there, so it's always fun to, you know, chat with yarn people constantly about stuff and get other people's opinions about things and stuff um my Etsy store will be linked below if you're interested my knit crate link will be below if you're interested excuse me oh speaking of that I got the confirmation in my email that it got shipped so I should get that Saturday because they always send it out on a Thursday and it always comes on a Saturday so hopefully it'll come tomorrow if not it'll come Monday but yeah I haven't looked at the website so I don't know what uh June's knit crate is I don't want to spoil it. I want to open it and be excited about it. I wish one would be one that I wanted to keep. <laughs> I mean, I like sharing it with y'all, but I'd like to keep one too. But I really don't need any more yarn. I mean, I just bought a bunch that I'm probably not going to use anytime soon. Um, but it's there if I want to make a random hat. or This is definitely going to be a hat, but I got between now and... It doesn't get cold here until the end of December. And then it's really cold in January. And then February it starts warming up again. So we only have a really small winter. So I only have a small frame that I can even wear my hats. Unless it goes crazy and like a random really cold winter happens. That happened the year I was pregnant. We got 11 inches of snow. And that was, really, if you live in Tennessee, that's crazy. At least in my part of Tennessee. I think East Tennessee does get more snow because they're higher altitude. And all the mountains and stuff. But we never get snow. When we get snow, it's like a powder that lasts, you know, it snows in the in for a couple hours and then two or three hours later it's all melted but yeah i wish it would snow crazy again so that jesse could play on it anyways i'm babbling now i need to get off here and put this yarn away and all that because i don't want it out when jesse gets home because he will rip into it but i will see you guys in the next video all my links are below if i forgot something just leave me a comment let me know and i'll try to post it back up and yeah i hope you guys have a nice weekend have fun and stay safe and use sunblock if you're out playing, unless you live in places, well, I guess you should wear sunblock all the time, even when it's cold, right? Yeah, because the sun can hurt you either way. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to hop off because I'm babbling. I'll see you guys later. Bye.